Woohoo! I'm on my bathroom floor again. Two videos in a row. Hi, piece of crap YouTuber here. Hey dudes! So today, this video is all about you. I'm gonna be exposing your secrets to all the people that watch my YouTube videos. I asked you guys on my Instagram to send in some secrets. And y'all did not disappoint. <laughs> so I have the secrets here. If you missed the chance to be a part of this, then you should just follow my Instagram. My Instagram is Cory Winter. So let's start. Okay, so the first one is my cousin thinks I like him and he wants me for real. <laughs> Alabama? <laughs> okay, first of all, sis, does anyone know about this? Because that's weird. <laughs> as long as you ain't living in Alabama, I don't know. I meant to say, as long as you're living in Alabama. Sorry. <laughs> that's a little bit, that's a little bit weird. Next one is, I talk to myself about personal problems so I don't have to talk to anyone else about them. I love you. I love you too. This is like, I feel like this is a pretty relatable thing because I know a lot of people don't know who to turn to when they're dealing with something like, if it's like has to do with mental health or with like anxiety or depression, anything like that has to do with your like, your personal life and the things that you're dealing with. If you're dealing with depression, I would recommend to call any of these numbers on the screen or text the national suicide hotline and like that's like a thing it's like the online 24 hour chat or if it's nothing about mental health then just try to reach out talk to a trusted adult talk to your sister talk to your brother talk to your dog your dog will help talk to like anyone talk to your best friend talk to someone they care about you and that's all i have to say all right next one me and my cousin kissed and i kissed someone in the closet and someone at recess at school why are all these about having romantic relationships with our cousins whoa first of all lewis is a baller that's honestly like that's really insane turn that into a story booth thing all right next one about 70 percent of everything i eat is cream cheese honestly i find that really funny because there's a lot of people i know that really like cream cheese and like are obsessed with it. In my opinion, I don't like cream cheese. <laughs> I think it's really gross. If 70% of all the things that you eat is cream cheese, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like live your life, bro. Next one, I secretly want to be an e-girl. Honestly, who doesn't? Because I feel like there's a lot of people who are like obsessed with the grunge aesthetic and like, I don't know. People love grunge. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I don't know, it's weird. Next one from the same person is says, I used to put ribbons in my head and pretend I was emo in 2012. That is dumb funny. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I had this weird emo phase, I think. I used to like love leather boots, leather jackets, but I used to kind of hide it. Like, I don't know, I'd, I'd kind of wear like leather crap here and there, but I didn't make it seem too obvious. I didn't want it to like shout in your face, like, uh. I relate. <laughs> Okay, next one is, I used to like my best friend. That is probably one of the most hard things in life. Cause like, if you like your best friend, you might get friend zoned. Like if it's your best friend, you have a higher chance to be get friend zoned than by anyone else. You, you feel me? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> next one, I stole from a store and blamed it on someone else. <laughs> I really want to hear more. I don't advocate for stealing, but like, <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, honestly. Next one is, I'm secretly gay, but I say I'm bisexual. That... That's really hard. <laughs> I kind of can relate to that, because back in the day, I used to say that I was bisexual, and I genuinely felt that I was, but I... Now, I, honestly, I think I'm just bi-romantic. Like, just gradually tell people. Like, gradually go and, like, Say like, oh, I don't think I'm bisexual anymore. Uh, I think I'm actually gay. Like, just kind of like be subtle with it though. Like, if you want to tell people, it's like it's no pressure to come out. But like, if you want to, go off. Okay, next one. I've been sitting here for a few minutes and I still can't find a secret. I, that's me too. I don't have that many secrets though. If someone asks me like, hey, tell me a secret, I'm like, uh. Next one. I low key hate my best friend. Quote unquote. That's tough like because if you hate your best friend oh that's mad tough because they're they're gonna think that you're their best friend so they want to be like everywhere around you they want to be like in your face 24 7 but like if you hate them <laughs> that's gonna be dumb tough because they're gonna be like they're so annoying like i, I don't like this person like <laughs> i think that's hilarious 
I'm bisexual, but I didn't tell my parents because they are homophobic. Honestly, there's no pressure to tell your parents, I guess, necessarily might, it might come slip out one day, but whenever you feel comfortable, if it's, if you want to, even though you might be scared <laughs> because they're homophobic, um, just tell people that you trust, I guess. A car once almost stepped on me, but it luckily didn't. Wait, a car? I don't know if they meant to say a, a, something else, but like, a car? <laughs> a car almost ran you over? Because that's... That, that gets my heart going. <laughs> I need to stop crying over fictional characters, but I can't. <laughs> Too. That's literally me when I um I saw like the end of Stranger Things because like they're all like fake. They're all fictional characters. When Hop died, when Billy died, when Alexi died, bro, I felt that. I have a crush on my BFF, but they like someone else. Ooh. I think you should just stick around like to see if maybe one day they won't have a crush anymore. Maybe their crush will eventually fade or if they actually become if, if they actually get in a relationship with their crush or something like that. Hop off. I'm bi and I've dated four girls before and my parents don't know. That's funny. <laughs> That's mad funny. I love that. <laughs> I have a crush on my best friend and she has a girlfriend. Man, that's tough. But as I said earlier, if your crush has a girlfriend or something or a boyfriend or whatever, then just hop off. I'm sorry. Like, I know it's gonna hurt, but maybe, just maybe, you're, if you stick around with your best friend, again, they might break up with them. We don't know. They might be available. You might be able to shoot your shot. <laughs> I once peed in my cousin's Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Maybe your cousin did something to you. I don't really know the backstory, but like, if you just pop squat and piss on your freaking cousin's Louis Vuitton bag, <laughs> that's evil. I made out with a chicken nugget on National <laughs> McDonald's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone should make out with like McDonald's item food items on National McDonald's Day because it's National McDonald's Day. Make out. <laughs> they are all fake secrets. LOL. So the two, the last two secrets that I read from Ellie.Visco, they're both fake. I am offended. I really like those. Those are really funny. The secret I have is that my birthday was yesterday. Include this in your UIT video. So this is from my good friend Jules. AKA Julio. If you watch my um, last day of school vlog, you you probably know who he is because I introduced you to him. And I also show him on my Snapchat frequently. Spoiler alert, his birthday was actually last Monday because that's how late I am with uploading this video. So sorry. Though I don't have a crush on some people, I still want them to like me. Oh, I remember like back in like first grade, second grade, third grade, I was, that was, those were my desperate days. I was like dumb desperate. I just wanted someone to like me, even if I didn't like them back. I was just like, like no one likes me. I'm so ugly. Like I relate to that so, so much. I had a pet hamster, but nobody ever knew. But then he died. <laughs> so sad. I'm so sorry. But it's funny how no one knew. Like not even your parents. Not even like. <laughs> I really want to know where you got that hamster from because I would like to adopt a ferret. <laughs> I sneak downstairs and get my mom's food every time. She still doesn't know who did it. I'm like that too. That's me with my sister's food. I like food <laughs> by Lena. Also one of my friends, love her to death, but like me too, Lena, I love food. I dated someone for five months and I didn't even like them anymore after the first two months. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, at least you're out of the relationship. It's okay, it's okay. Cause like sometimes you fall out of love. We all know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Like. You don't know what the future holds, but at least you're not in the relationship anymore. I lied to my grandma about being at a friend's house when I was at a festival. Oh, I wish I had the courage to do that. Oh my gosh, that's... So that's all the secrets that you guys sent in to me. Thank you guys for so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't as boring. I hope I can edit it to make it more entertaining. But if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe if you want to. I'm not forcing you and yeah, that's all folks. See you later.